I'm going to show you how to pair a Xbox S or X controller to your iPad. This way you'll be able to play games, you'll be able to play most of the Apple Arcade games and some other games as well. For me, I typically play COD Mobile. Take note that you need at least iOS 14.5, which right now is the latest um, uh, iOS. Uh, the thing is, if you don't have it updated and you go ahead and try to pair it, you're not going to see this Xbox wireless controller on here, okay? So, you know it's paired when it's a solid white light here. So you can go ahead and start playing games. There's no other configuration. Just go ahead. Uh, I'll show you one example. I, I'll open up COD and start playing right away. But let me show you this as well. If you go to settings here, and we go down to general, now you have a new option down here. It says game controller. So if you tap on that, now you also have identify controller. Basically, when I tap on this, I feel my controller vibrating so you know which one is paired. Okay, if you have like multiple um, controllers laying around. And you also have customizations right here. So you can go ahead and change, you know, what um, each button here does as well. Okay. So anyway, I'm paired right now. You can go ahead and bring up a game. I'm going to go ahead and bring up uh, COD Mobile. Right there. And as soon as you put on the game, you should automatically be paired. Now, if you want to go ahead and uh, disconnect uh, from your controller or forget the device, you can just simply go back to um, your Bluetooth, Bluetooth. So go back to settings and go back to Bluetooth. And then you can see it's connected right now to my Xbox wireless controller here. Top on that little eye where it says connect it. And then we can go ahead and forget the device right there. Now, if you forget the device, then if you want to go ahead and pair it again, then you're going to have to do the um, same thing again to pair, okay? Any questions, issues, comment below. Good luck.